Over the last two weeks, we've looked at nine things you can do to help your students kickstart the building of their number sense. If you are just now joining us, make sure you get enrolled so that you can get the kickstart checklist and information from all nine days at buildmathminds.com slash 10 day dash kickstart. If you've already got the kickstart checklist, download it, print it out, and put it somewhere near your desk so you can remember the nine items to help you kickstart number sense for your students. For those of you who've been here for all nine days, you might already have seen some students have those light bulb moments. But most of what we've discussed is really laying a foundation or blueprint for you to use as you go throughout the school year. Building number sense is not something you can do in just two weeks. It takes a long time and the effects of it you may not even see in your time with your students. Often the results of laying a solid foundation aren't seen until trouble comes. When typical students start to have trouble, your students might just be the ones who don't. That's one of the hard parts of being a teacher. The effect you have on your students sometimes isn't seen until they are no longer your students. However, you are planting the seeds of number sense. These episodes are sponsored by the online trainings that I do for elementary educators. Registration for the Flexibility Formula K2 and third through fifth is now open. These courses help you understand the foundation of number sense, how number sense builds kids' flexibility with numbers, and how that impacts their ability to become fluent with the mathematics at your grade level. Go to buildmathminds.com slash enroll to learn more about each course and get enrolled. Your step for day 10 is taking this idea of building your students' number sense seriously. I've introduced you to some concepts and ideas about building your students' number sense, some practical ways to do that in your classroom, and given you some resources to help you along the way. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. If you want to take building your students' number sense seriously, then I'd love to help you inside of my courses, the flexibility formula, the K2 version, or the 3-5. Textbooks don't build number sense for your students. It jumps them too quickly into operating with numbers without laying a solid foundation of what numbers mean and how they relate to each other. Today, I'm encouraging you to dig deeper into building number sense by joining my online class, The Flexibility Formula. To continue this gardening metaphor, my course is helping you fertilize the seeds that you've planted by better understanding how your students build number sense. We briefly touched on the eight number sense concepts during this Kickstart event. So I'd love to work with you and your colleagues to increase your knowledge of those concepts that build your students' number sense and help them become flexible thinkers in mathematics. You will end up knowing exactly what each number sense concept looks like in kids in the grade band you work with, how it impacts their fluency, what to watch for when you are observing and listening, and you will be given resources to help you use number routines, story problems, and games to help solidify your students' understanding of the number sense concepts. Yesterday, I mentioned Susan Jo Jo Russell's article about computational fluency and how we need to ensure that students have those three things, accuracy, efficiency, and flexibility. Most classroom mathematics time is spent on developing accuracy and efficiency. That's why memorizing, procedural practice, and timed activities are used so much. However, building their flexibility is how we ensure that we are building their understanding of mathematics. That's why I call my course the flexibility formula. Our goal when teaching mathematics should be to do the items we've laid out in this kickstart. Focus on understanding, not just the doing of mathematics. Dig down into the root of your students' problems by looking to see what number sense concepts might be in their way to building their fluency with mathematics. Keep a record of what number sense concepts your students are developing. Start to talk less and listen more. Use lots and lots of visuals during math and connect the concrete, representational, and abstract models as much as you can. 
And the ways that I've found to do those things is to make sure you're including those three types of math experiences that we've talked about for your students. Number routines, giving contextual or story problems, and practice. That is the blueprint for building your students' math fluency. Do number routines and contextual problems with a focus on understanding. Watch for your students' thinking around the number sense concepts. Keep a record of those understandings to help guide the number routines and the contextual problems you pick. For example, if your students are struggling with benchmark numbers, do some number routines that help highlight that relationship. While you are doing the number routines and contextual problems, make sure the students are doing the talking and you are listening. Use lots of visuals and try to connect the CRA models as much as you can. And then practice. Once the understanding is there, kids do need repeated, purposeful practice. That's your blueprint for building number sense and increasing fluency. Now, I know just saying that sounds simple, but it isn't as easy as it sounds. If you want to seriously dive into building number sense with your students and thus building their flexibility, then I'd love to help you inside the course, The Flexibility Formula. The K2 version of the course goes deep into developing the eight number sense concepts around the numbers zero through 20, and then extending that into larger quantities and as we investigate how it all impacts addition and subtraction. The 3-5 course looks at how those eight number sense concepts impact multi-digit addition and subtraction, fraction operations, and multiplication and division. In both of the courses, we address how to observe students, make connections between the mathematical concepts, and the experiences that you can provide your students to help them build their math fluency by building their number flexibility. As a thank you for taking part in the Kickstart, we do have a special gift for you when you enroll in the Flexibility Formula course by a certain date. The details are in your Kickstart checklist, so go check that out to ensure you don't miss the deadline. If you are stumbling upon this final day of the Kickstart and you don't have the checklist yet, go to buildmathminds.com 10-day dash kickstart. Building your students' number sense is essential to helping them truly understand mathematics. Think about what it would be like when your students actually understand the numbers they're being asked to operate with. They look at the numbers in a problem first to decide the best solution path. They are able to dig into problems without waiting for you to tell them how to solve it. When you have students share their solution paths, you will have other kids chiming in about how they saw it the same way, but did something slightly different because they saw a different relationship with the numbers. They can solve problems in their head. They can solve problems using manipulatives. They solve problems using drawings. They solve problems using written symbols of mathematics. They are solving problems and not just mindlessly calculating. This is something that can't be directly taught. You can't teach students to think. You can teach them to do procedures, but they think when they understand how stuff works. I have a saying that number sense is caught, not taught. In the 1989 article, Teaching Number Sense, Hilda Howden wrote that number sense is good intuition about numbers and their relationships. It develops gradually as a result of exploring numbers, visualizing them in a variety of contexts, and relating them in ways that are not limited by traditional algorithms. You need to let students explore, visualize, and build relationships around numbers if you want them to be more than calculators. If you are ready to build your math mind so you can build the math minds of your students and not just create calculators, then join me for the Flexibility Formula course. Thank you so much for participating in this 10-day Number Sense Kickstart. I hope to see you inside one of the Flexibility Formula courses to help you take these ideas even further so that your students can have that solid mathematical foundation of Number Sense.